What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at my top five hidden features inside the 2023 Subaru Ascent. All right, so inside the cabin here for number one, we're gonna be talking about the driver focus distraction mitigation system. This is a great feature in and of itself. It will monitor your face and just make sure that you're paying attention to the road. If you're not, it'll give you a little warning on screen, things like that. That's cool in and of itself. But the more beneficial feature is that it actually allows you to set up driver customization options inside of the menu. How you set this up is you gotta make sure the vehicle is on. Then you wanna go into car, go down to driver monitoring system, and then register user. Then you can pick user one, and then you want to adjust your seat and mirror position. So I'm gonna do this really dramatically so you can see the difference. So I'm gonna scoop my seat all the way up, adjust my mirrors all the way down and over, and we'll hit set. Then we'll face forward till we hear a beep. And then you can input a name and icon. We'll just leave it at the default driver A. And then if I were to adjust my seat all the way back again, move my mirrors, get out of the car, get back in, it's gonna automatically scan my face, say, hello, driver A, it's adjusting the mirrors, it's adjusting my seat up to the super uncomfortable position that I set it as, and you don't even have to turn the car on, it just knows right away. You can have up to five driver profiles on here, so definitely check this out, set it up, it's a super awesome, convenient feature to have complete customization of your seating and mirror position. So for number two, let's talk about valet mode. So if you swipe over on your screen and you hit valet mode, you can actually register a password. And once you put this password in and register it, it will lock the infotainment system so it cannot be used. I always use my super secret password of one, two, three, four. Please don't tell anybody that. And then once you do that, all of your apps and everything will be grayed out and cannot be accessed at all. The only things that can be accessed are the tri-zone climate control system. And of course you can turn the vehicle on and off but you can't mess with anything else. And the only way to unlock it is to untoggle valet mode, enter your password again, and this will deactivate valet mode. And then you can um, have all your personal settings back, everything like that, super easy. All right, for number three, let's talk about Cabin Connect. Now this is a new feature here added for 2023 on the Ascent here. So basically what it is, is a speaker system. So you have a little microphone, somewhere in this area here and it basically allows you to talk to your rear seat passengers so if you don't want to do the whole turn around and hey that kind of thing just turn on cabin connect talk normally and it will project into the back seats through the speaker system let's check it out and i'm going to go ahead and take my microphone off and i'm going to put it in the back seat so you guys can hear what it sounds like all right i'm going to put the microphone back here on the rear seat so you guys can hear what it sounds like when you use cabin connect inside of the 2023 ascent so i'm going to clip it here on the seat all right so now i'm in the front seat cabin connect is not enabled i'm going to go ahead and turn it on so now this is what it sounds like in the second row seats when cabin connect is turned on so i'm just talking at a normal volume say things like hey stevie stop punching your sister that's what it sounds like with cabin connect on and i'm going to go ahead and turn cabin connect off and continue to talk normally so you guys can hear that you really probably can't hear me very well anymore. So that is Cabin Connect. Really cool. If you didn't know what that was or you hadn't seen that icon before, just turn it on right there. Nice and easy. Now for number four, you probably knew that you had a smart rearview mirror camera here on your Ascent. If you didn't and you've never seen it before, you do probably have one, especially if you have a touring like this trim. But you can actually adjust the settings of this camera. So by default, it's way too zoomed in for me. And maybe you don't like the angle that it's at no problem, you can fix it. So if you use these little controls on the side, you just push the button on the far left, then you get access to brightness first, you can brighten it or dim it. Then you have your vertical, so your up and down view. So if you wanna see higher, you wanna see it a little bit lower, completely up to you. Then you have your left and right pan. If you want it a little bit more to the right, a little bit more to the left. Then you have actually a rotation, which I've never seen before on any other of these smart rear view mirror cameras. It's not a ton of flexibility, but it does allow you to, you know, align the image a little bit better if it's a little wonky. Now for one little bonus tip on the rear view mirror area here, let's say you want to leave your rear view mirror camera on all the time. You don't want to flick it down and have to use it as a normal mirror to see what's going on in the back seats. Subaru thought of a solution for this. So you can actually leave your smart rear view mirror camera on. And then if you push this little part right here, What's gonna drop down is a little sunglasses holder, but there is also a little reflector right here. So if we lift this up and lock it back into place here, 
you can now see what's going on in the second and third rows right from this little you know reflective mirror area that way you can leave the smart review mirror camera on and if you need to see what's going on in the back you want to give the kids a quick glance you can just look right up here check that real quick and be right on your way now before we hop outside for number five i want to show you a few hidden bonus features inside the settings menu so if we go ahead and hop in here and we go to the keyless entry system you have a lot of customization options in here. You can turn off the audible signal when you use keyless access on the door handle. You can turn off the hazards flashing when you use it. And then you can customize which doors lock and unlock, not only using the handles on the doors, but also on the lift gate. So if we go into driver door unlock, you can set it to driver door only. So if you're a single person and you want it for security purposes to only unlock this door, you can do that. But if you're a family and you want all the doors to unlock when you use keyless access, you can enable that as well. Then if we go under rear gate and trunk unlock, you can do the same. So just the trunk when you unlock it or all doors when you unlock the trunk. Super convenient if you're carrying groceries, you want that to unlock and all the other doors to unlock so the kids can hop in definitely check out this feature. Additionally, inside the settings and car menu, we can scroll down to one touch lane changer. Now this is exactly what it sounds like, but some of these are off by default. So one touch lane changer, basically when you use your turn signal here, if you were to have one touch lane changer off and you were to push down one time on the stock, it would just click one time. You'd have to push it all the way down to get it to repeat. But if you turn on one touch lane changer, it does exactly what it sounds like. You just tap once and it does the flasher multiple times. Super nice convenience feature. Yours might have been off by default. You also have auto door lock and unlock, and you can customize how this works. So currently it's set to vehicle speed. So once you reach a certain speed, the doors will automatically lock. But you can also have it auto lock when you shift into or out of park. So some nice customization there. If you go into door and mirror settings, you can actually control whether your mirrors fold in automatically, but also you can customize the reverse tilt. So if yours is turned off by default, definitely turn this on. So when you put the vehicle in reverse, your side mirrors are automatically gonna tilt down to let you see a better view of what's around your vehicle. Super nice. And then the last little setting that I wanted to take a look at is this power rear gate option in here. So you can actually enable power rear gate memory. So if you have like a shorter garage or something like that, and you only want the tailgate to open to a certain height so it doesn't hit that garage, you can set that and then enable power rear gate memory. So every time you open it, it will only open to that height. If you have this turned off, it will open the full length every single time. So definitely check this out if you have a shorter garage or you have like an overhang or a carport or something along those lines check this out, this may save you. But let's go ahead and hop outside for number five. All right, so hopping in the back for number five, there is actually a little button up underneath the tailgate here, and this will allow you to lock and unlock your vehicle with a secret passcode, whether or not you have the key fob. So this does require a little bit of setup, so you will need your key fob initially. And what you're gonna wanna do is press and hold the lock button on the key fob, and then press and hold the lock button up underneath the tailgate and wait for it to beep. It's beeping, then within 30 seconds, you wanna hit unlock, all right, now it's unlocked and it's ready for us to enter our passcode. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is make a five digit passcode using button presses. So I always do just one, two, three, two, one, and it's easier to push that way. So we'll do one. So you hear that beeping after I've ended the code, you wanna enter it again. So one, wait for the beep, two, wait for the beep, three, wait for the beep, two, and one and you'll see that the vehicle went ahead and unlocked. So now that we've got our pin code registered, we can actually test whether or not it's working. And we're gonna do this by putting the key fob into sleep mode so we can't cheat it. So how you wanna do this is you press and hold the lock button and then double tap the unlock button. So then the key fob will flash a few times and that's how you know it's in sleep mode. So now if we try to open the lift gate, it's not doing anything, even though I've got the key fob right next to it because the key fob is undetected. Now let's try our pin code. So we'll go one, wait for the beep two, wait for the beep one. So in the ultimate ironies, this doesn't actually unlock the tailgate, as you can see. But what it does unlock is the front door, and then you're able to access all of your different doors. And then just to clarify, if you do need the key fob out of sleep mode, just press any button and it comes back online and you can use it just like normal.